What games do they want? What systems do they have again? Why does everything have to be so damn expensive? Whoa, 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 slow down. Buying the right gift for the gamer in your family doesn't have to be that hard. And Gaming Off The Grid is here to help. Today we're gonna look at some great gift ideas for the gamer in your family that doesn't break the bank. Welcome to our 2018 Holiday Buying Guide. And as usual, we're going to be drinking beer. Today we brought along a fantastic winter offering by Goose Island. This is the Bourbon County Barrel Aged Stout. It's the 2018 batch. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a winter beer if you care to, and enjoy this episode of Gaming Off The Grid. Alright, here we go, the 2018 Holiday Buying Guide. You know, gamers can be kind of a pain in the ass to shop. Yeah, they're really picky and every gamer likes something different and there's just so much stuff out there and a lot of it is garbage, it's really confusing. So let's just jump into our buying guide with the essentials. Yeah, controllers. Oh yes. This is one that I think gets overlooked a lot and it's not very unique, it's not very glamorous, but I think you'd be far better off buying somebody a new set of Joy-Cons, a new PS4 controller, Xbox One controller, than taking a stab at a $60 game. Do they have the game? Do they not? I don't know. Will they play the game? Probably not. Yeah, so a lot of people put a lot of mileage on those controllers and having a good controller kind of in the drawer ready to go when you need it is not a bad gift idea. Yeah, it's not. Everyone can use extra controllers. It's a good, simple, straightforward gift. And as far as the controllers go, it's important that these controllers are first party and real. There's a lot of third party controllers that are completely garbage and if a gamer got them, they'd be like, oh, thanks never touch yeah, it. Yeah, we've shouted out a couple third-party controllers that we've found that have been good, but it is a dice roll. You're best served to stay away from those if you are not well educated on what you're purchasing. So now let's jump into something more unique and more fun. The next things we're going to talk about you are not going to find in your typical game store or your typical big box store. These are very unique gifts and we're a small channel. We get no kickbacks for mentioning these. We're just mentioning them because they're good companies and they've treated us well as gamers. So the first one I want to talk about is GamerHats.com. I know, he loves his hats. Absolutely, and I've had people ask me, like, where did you get that N64 hat? Or your Super Nintendo hat? I've got two hats from GamerHats.com. Very reasonable prices. The quality of their goods is fantastic. It's a very simple, easy to use website. I've had two orders and I've been treated very well. And it's a very unique thing. I have never seen anybody in person with the hats that I've gotten off GamerHats.com. And they're so sweet. And another really cool site is CastlemaniaGames.com. They have so many sweet games, a lot of limited run stuff. It's just really cool. If you've ever seen our episode on R-Type or the Holy Diver Collection, those were from Castlemania Games. You can also get very unique things, like they've got a modernized N64 controller called the Brawler. So if you've ever been like, why is the N64 controller so messed up? Well, Castlemania Games has a solution for that and many other things from being able to convert your old consoles to modern TVs with different hookups and things like that. Some great guys that work over there and they've been great to us as consumers. They have no idea who we are, but we love what they're doing. So you definitely need to go out there and check that out because there's some very unique gifts to be had. And another site that's somewhat similar is Limited Run Games. You're going to get some very unique games and we talked about games. It's very hard to buy games yes. for a gamer. So. It's our opinion, you want to kind of stay away from the AAA titles, like, you know, if they have a PS4, there's a good chance they have God of War, they have Spider-Man, they have the Uncharted's, but through limited run games, you can get some very unique stuff that's only printed, you know, like 2,000 copies, and they're going to be like, wow, I got something really rare, unique, and typically, their games come with, like, inserts, booklets, so on and so forth. Which is so cool if you're a retro gamer, because you love that stuff, and it's just like, they put the extra time and care into making the game because games nowadays have nothing and it pisses me off. In addition to limited run games, PlayAsia.com is another great source for rare stuff. You can get great imports. PS4 owners out there, I'm not sure if you know this, but the PS4 is not region locked. So anything you get that is an import should be able to play just fine on there. And the stuff they typically sell has great inserts, great yes. artwork. There's a lot of like complete collector sets. So it's a really neat website. And we've gotten a lot of shmups from there and we love our shmups. We do, we do. And there are tons of them that we have got from PlayAsia.com. And another very unique gaming idea 
is t-shirts. I don't know about you, but I love video game t-shirts. Yeah, oh, I absolutely do. I think I've only wore the same one in episodes like once or twice. It's because I just can't stop. It's an addiction. So SuperheroDen.com. You can find very unique stuff over there, not just gaming related, but across the whole board of nerd stuff. It's like Nerdville USA on a website. They have very cool shirts. Very unique designs. Yeah, if there's a gamer in your family, I think they're going to be okay getting a Super Mario Brothers box art t-shirt. Oh, so so you got to head over to uh, Superhero Den. They do a great job. If you're over there writing down these websites that we're talking about, just stop, relax, enjoy the episode. We're going to post the links to every one of these in the description below and all of our social media accounts. And if you don't like buying stuff online and you like going to the stores, Marshalls is a very unique hidden gem place for gamer t-shirts and gaming accessories just in general, like little like knickknacks and stuff. But they have so many sweet shirts. You have so many like Japanese PlayStation shirts and they were discounted. Yeah, it's like $7.99, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, any of thing in that little chain there. It's hit or miss. It's kind of like a rummage sale. But if you go in there and roll your sleeves up elbow deep and get in there, you can maybe find some good deals. So now let's jump into some retro stuff because we love retro gaming. It can be a scary area to navigate because there's so many plug and play consoles out yeah, there. Yeah. So alert. Most plug and play consoles that you're going to see at stores this holiday season are dog shit. The only ones that are worth your hard earned money is the Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition and the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. And I know the Sony PlayStation Classic just came out and I just don't think it's worth it and it kind of falls in the category of garbage plug and play consoles as much as I don't want to say it. Yeah, there's a couple like that are decent from Atari, but they're still not that great. Most of the Sega stuff you're going to see out there, now there is a new one coming down the horizon. Can't cast judgment on that. But the majority of the ones that have came out from At Games, oh. not very good. But Nintendo did it right. A, they have fantastic games. The emulation is on point. The packaging, everything. So if you're going to spend your money, if you're thinking like, oh, I'm going to buy that little Atari thing for 40 you might as well spend 60 and get something that is worthwhile. And when they open it, they're going to be like, holy hell, this is awesome, and everybody in the family is going to be able to enjoy that item. And talking about enjoy, let's talk about this beer. This is a beer that I have had every year since I knew it existed. I think I've been drinking this annually since 2014. It's the Goose Island Bourbon County Stout. The one we're trying today, there's like three or four variants. This is just the original. Yeah. It's one of the original barrel-aged stouts. And the quality, year after year, cannot be understated. It's a very small batch production, so it does vary from year to year. This year is a very, very smooth release. The 2018 release, there is no alcohol burn whatsoever. It's very rich. It's like velvet. This is why barrel-aged stouts became a thing, because of this beer right here. And Goose Island is a major company, so I kind of get hesitant. It's like, ah, oh, they're going to they're gonna mail it in, but they don't. They put time into it. It's really smooth. It's one of the best winter beers I've tried this year. Speaking of how their brewery, you know, has kind of became a bigger thing. It's, I think it was bought or whatever, but the fact that they've continued the quality with this beer, I'm still on board with Goose Island because this is a fantastic offering. It is very hard to find. It's released in a very narrow window and it runs very expensive. I think it's going to be between like $10 and $15 a bottle. Yeah. But it is so worth it. It is a delicacy. This is like a fine wine, a fantastic steak. It falls right in line with, you know, you'll pretty much pay anything for greatness, and this shit is great. So we've been talking about a lot of gifts for gamers, but we also do beer on this channel. So any beer fans out there, they can be scary to buy for too. Beer fans typically like adventure, so keep that in mind. If you live in a different town than them, Get them a bomber or a growler from a local brewery. They will be happy as hell. If you are just swinging through a store, a great holiday sampler pack would be fantastic. We've had all sorts of great beers, and if somebody brought me the Sam Adams holiday sampler pack, I'm going to be so happy. So keep in mind that the beer fan in your family is probably an adventurer. As long as you don't play it too safe, they're probably going to be happy with it, and you'll be mighty fine, porcupine. And I want to jump in real quick before we leave. I know buying games is scary for the gamer in your family because you don't know what they have, but there's a lot of sweet modern games that we've played this year that are less than $40, and a modern gamer probably doesn't have them. I want to just say Mega Man 11, Mutant Football League, and Super Bomberman R. Those are three games that stick out to me, less than 40 bucks. They're so much fun, and they're hidden gems kind of in the modern scene of gaming. Yeah, it, it's tough. A lot of those games get kind of buried by those AAA releases that have the huge commercials and everything else. But you mentioned those are three great games that can be had on a budget that I think most gamers, if they got them, would be like, 
Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. This is a good thing. I'm really excited about this. And talking about excited, this episode also qualifies for our NES giveaway. Yes, we're giving away an NES Classic, and it's simple to enter. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel, you like, and leave a comment on any new upload from now till December 20th. And on December 22nd, we're going to announce the winner and send them an NES Classic for free, just in time for the holidays. You're welcome. And as always, thank you for your continuous support and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming, keep drinking. We'll see you next time on Gaming Off The Grid. What games do they what? <clears throat> nope, what games do they what? What games do they what? Why is everything so damn expensive? Whoa, 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 slow down, Charlie. <laughs> Billy Mays here. Gaming Off The Grid is here to you. Today! <laughs> what games? <laughs> <laughs> and gaming off the grid is here to help. Today we're gonna look at. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> gaming off the grid is here to help. <laughs> you sound like Mickey Moose. <laughs> Mickey Moose. All right. <clears throat> it's me, Mickey Moose. Oh, shit. Oh, you know, one of my favorite Disney characters of all time. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's Mickey Moose. <laughs>